Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games and today I have for you a roguelike outer battler called Tower of Gods. This game came out under early access on December 2020 and what I really like about this outer battle is that it has like the most features I've seen in an outer battle so far. We played Kill Time Dungeon Beneath as well and this one has like the most different features that you can do. It's very much like RPG sort of oriented or inspired outer battle which is quite interesting. So let's begin. So here you can pick our heroes. Now the heroes, they do not uh, fight combat, but they have followers and they give them specific bonuses. So here we've got Violet. She gives a, she increases crit chance of savage allies, hit chance of summoner allies, and increases the level of the alias bizarre followers by one. This is actually very cool, the increasing of the level. So each sort of follower has essentially like two characteristics. They're, one is, I guess, species, but species can also be things like bizarre. So it just doesn't have to be like human or something like that. Like that and then they have like specialization like they can be um, warrior mage summoner all sorts of things like that then we've got Chloe she increases crit chance of warriors health of warriors and increases the gold so actually health of savages so this is you can have savage warriors I think so she's mostly on like a melee combat kind of person and Leona increases the power of her assassins the level of her mages and the maximum layer of poisonous blood caused by allies followers. That's interesting. You could also refresh. So if you have these notes, you can refresh them. So that's what we're going to do. So we got Delia who is focused on human mages. Uh, this is pretty good because you often get human mages. This is a combo that I have had in the game a lot. You know, because sometimes you might get these heroes that don't necessarily combine the type of follower that you'll want. But she both upgrades mages and humans, so it's pretty easy to find a human mage that will give you good stuff. Alma is about Bizarre and Ranger, and Darren here increases the allies of all of his guardians by one and increases the transmog success. So we're gonna pick him and we're gonna talk about what transmog is, and we're gonna try to focus on having guardians and assassins. So we'll pick Darren here. So the level increase is really, really good. So now we have to pick our first warrior. So for example, we could have a savage warrior, a bizarre warrior, bizarre assassin. So we know we want assassins because our hero makes them better. So alternatively, we could also try to get a guardian. Do we have a guardian? We do not have a guardian. Okay, so we're going to pick this uh, silent sword who is bizarre assassin. Okay, so each of these um, followers have like a passive skill. In this case, he, when a basic attack hits, he deducts targets points of mana from the enemy. So essentially, he lowers the enemy's mana. He doesn't steal, he just kind of takes it away. And the more he, more he takes away, the more damage he does. And then this is this active skill is kind of like his ultimate ability, like a big ability. So his silent blow deals 290 spell damage to the enemy and silences the target for 3 seconds. This means that they can do magic, I believe. Then we can check his attributes and eventually we're going to learn his synergy. So if he fights with someone else, they'll get certain bonus. So we're going to pick him. Silence and he's automatically level 2 because of our hero. Now we could start in the Dark Forest or the Omnius Caves. Uh, this is uh, because I already played this a little bit and unlocked it. We're gonna start from the beginning so you can just see the starting level. What's interesting though is that these maps they can have like a special effect. Essentially they can for example increase enemies max damage but also give you some kind of a bonus and you can change the modifier by using this mysterious sand. Alright, so this is my leader, Darren. I'm gonna call him after my main patron, so we're gonna call him Bach from now on. So this is Bach. You can see here, here his leadership. Leadership is really important because each follower costs you eight leadership points. So if you wanna have another person fighting with us on our side, we need to have increased leadership. So for that, we need to pay money. Here we can have Demon Chest, which uh, can be used to redeem rewards in the tavern after you die. Strange dice you can use to refresh the mystery store. Voucher you can use to also refresh item in the item store. Time orbs allows you to reset enemies in a room and this is our gold. Now here you can see synergies. If we have two assassins, they increase crit damage to each other by 75%. So it's often a really good idea to try to get a good combination of this and also a good combination with our heroes. So for example, right now then we know that we would like some more assassins, possibly some bizarre fighters and also potentially guardians. So let's go talk to this person, to Garrison. This is just saying us that the enemies on this map have been reduced to max health. Okay. 
All right, now we can pick who we want to fight. We could also reroll this using our magical orbs. Now, what's really important here is that ideally I would like to try to get souls and equipment of the right type of followers. So for example, we have Assassin and Bizarre. So we would like, or Guardian's actually good because we could get a Guardian, but ideally we would like to fight this because we could get some good equipment for our assassin and also potentially assassin souls assassin souls allow you to upgrade your followers so we already start with level two but if we could get him to something like level three that would be obviously even better so we're gonna fight a stinger scorpion who is assassin and a demon that's actually quite interesting let's see if bizarre assassin is better than demon assassin I guess we'll find out now eventually you will have your own abilities as well, so you don't just have to use your uh, followers abilities, you can use your own, your own too. Sorry, that took me a while to say. Actually he's not doing so hot, he definitely needs some help, like you can see he's not the best. Okay, now we could get some extra f person. We could get the demon assassin we just saw, stinger scorpion. You could get a mage demon or a ranger in nature. So all of these options are not great. I guess the assassin demon would be the best. Alternatively, what we could do is we have these five crystals and they will disappear afterwards. So we want to use them up. We could refresh and try to get a different combination. So we'll try that. Instead, we now have a ranger savage and a mage nature. So this is even worse. So we'll try one more time. Now we have a guardian human. That's not bad because this he will automatically become level two because of my hero. Or a bi another bizarre assassin. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is swift impress. This is the different one than what we had. After so we're gonna grab him, and we're gonna place him over here. So now we got two assassins, so the crit chance will increase significantly. And now we're gonna read about our new guy. So swift impress. He has toxic electricity. When an attack hits an enemy with poison or poisonous blood, ignore the target's basic defense. Great. And his static strikes enables the energy leakage state. The basic attack in this state no longer has basic attack mana regeneration and the damage is increased and it costs 15 mana per second. The basic attack in this state will bounce the enemies within 4 yards. Alright, so essentially he's going to be pushing enemies around. This is really cool. So ideally we would like to give him some equipment that causes poisonous attacks because then he can do more damage which would be really really nice and also we're gonna it's gonna be easy for us to get one more bizarre person and then we'll get um, 30 percent attack speed increase so let's go to the next area and we want to fight is there someone bizarre yeah we definitely want to fight bizarre people do we have bizarre assassins no but we do have bizarre bizarre guardians so i guess we'll go fight this follower forester get a gloves or a light weapon or here we could get helmet and body armor so let's actually fight a water, winter element because why not Ooh, we don't have enough leadership so we're actually just gonna pick the new guy because i want to see how he goes because we, we need one more point in leadership in order to be able to use this essentially to get both of our boards okay now we are 10 out of 17 so now we could place them both there now we could get a body armor that increases max health, precious rope that increases a dodge chance, and this this puppet mask is only work if you summon people, which we're not doing. So we're gonna grab this dodge chance and maybe reroll. See what else we can get. Max health plus eight percent or increased speed. That might be better. Let's grab that. Okay, now we can have both of them fighting. And we're gonna now equip this. So we're gonna put the rope to Swift Impreza. And our Silent Sword is going to get a Frost Whisper, so we will increase his attack speed. So we can look at his attack speed. Where is his attack speed? Attacks per second 0 0.6, and this one 0 0.6. So actually, I'm gonna increase the speed on the other one because the increase is gonna be higher if we do it like this. And um, if you have a lot of equipments of the same type you can upgrade it to a higher quality so all of these things are normal quality but you can get things of excellent rare or epic quality and they give you for example if you have a really good equipment it can give you an extra ability which is really really useful now we're going to increase here our leadership so that we can play with both of them we're going to use up we're going to get up to 20 because we want to get to 24 soon so we can get a third person all right here we have a shop in the shop you can buy equipment the equipment is typically random so we can just for example buy some sort of body armor or some sort of light weapon but what we're going to do is we're actually going to try to get a skill book so that we can use our skills 
So I'm going to grab here, I would like probably a buff maybe for my people so that I can like protect them. Yeah, unknown number of hero skill books. This is going to be some sort of a buff. So let's buy this. And we have gotten two books for protective field. So if we click over here, we can activate our ability. So we can activate this protective field, which means that if I place it in a circle force field with a 3.5 yards radius, increases the basic defense of all allies in the area. Okay. I could also buy another book if I wanted to, but I think instead we might want to buy souls of our followers so what do we could use a bizarre soul sure but we don't know what kind of bizarre soul so some kind of okay so we got a soul armor which i think is good for us no so see this is the problem we got a soul armor but if we can't really get him don't know what happens if you click on activate here oh interesting so i hadn't had this in a test game so normally you would get the soul on one of your people that you already have and then you could use it to upgrade them but this actually allows us to get a new person which is quite good because he was fairly cheap all right bizarre warrior what you've got first of all look at him he looks beautiful obviously we can't use him because we've, we don't got the leadership for that but what are his abilities he looks epic i kind of want him increase crit damage by 50 percent when attacking a frozen enemy nice throw a rotating war blade at the farthest enemy and the war blade dealing 200 percent basic damage on each enemy path now eventually we might want to get okay he's a warrior so that's good i was gonna say we might need to get somebody else than an assassin simply so that we have like some sort of a tank or something but yeah let's let's keep focusing on our bizarre stuff like bizarre Bizarre warrior, we don't have that. Bizarre assassin, so I guess we'll go here. We'll fight a scorpion and an earth shaker. So we'll see how well our boys can do. Our sword and whatever this guy's name is. Okay, so we're gonna put a protective field around him because they do take a lot of damage. Okay, this guy might die. Yeah, okay. So the fact that they die is not really a problem. They will come back immediately afterwards, but you will not get as good of a bonus at the end of the area. So once we, so once we get to the finish here, we'll fight a boss fight and uh, because one of our people died, it's not going to be as good. Let's increase my basic defense penetration. No, just basic defense and... Can I get more defense somewhere? No, it's originated max health. Okay, so we're gonna place our third guy here, first of all. We're gonna put him in the front. He's not the best, though, to be like a melee. Um, to be like the tank. But yeah, whatever. Let's, let's put the basic defense on this guy. And we'll give the regeneration on the Swift Impressor because he seems to be dying the fastest. So let's go to the next area. And we'll see what we get here. Let's fight a ghost sorcerer and a hunter. Oh, uh, not enough leadership again. Okay, fine, I guess you'll go away. Actually, you may maybe you should stay. We'll take the silence sword away because... Oh, he was the only one who was level 2. I should have kept him. Oh, well. Let's see if our boys can do well enough without him. Yeah, no problem. This is gonna be a walk in the park. Okay, our leadership is back up. And we'll put our person down there. I'm gonna try to refresh, see if I could get some souls. Doesn't seem like it. Warrior Savage. Alternatively, if I could just get a Guardian. Oh, but this for Guardians only increase the skill level of allies Guardian follower. Yeah. Skill level, not the overall level. Okay. So let's get a more basic defense. So we're gonna try to get multiple of these robot arms because later on we could transmute them to get a little bit better. So now we're gonna place our third guy here and we will, for, for the moment, we're gonna give everybody just the defensive thingies, just because we can, we'll just go. But if we could get just one more, we would be able to upgrade it to a higher level, something that does even more defense for us. Now we're doing okay again. Having this this um, this warrior is really helping us out because we're having a rough time there. I love how they both just almost died. It was fine. 
That's fine. Come on. Okay, this. So we can get a soul for Swift Impresa. If we get four, we can level ourselves up. We also get a Silent Sword soul. Absolutely. And we could buy a Scarlet Spell Defense Armor. So sure. We have a Spell Defense Armor. We'll put it on the Soul Armor because why not? <laughs> These names are kind of funny. Soul Armor. Let's go. Let's go talk to this guy. We could trade these two books for one book of anger sign sure that means i should be able to get myself a new ability anger sign mark an enemy and force allies within eight yards of the enemy to attack the enemy wowza we're gonna grab that we're gonna switch it for a protective shield and we're definitely going to use that now again we want to focus on bizarre people so we'll go over here and i'm gonna use my ability on some of these Problem is they're not that close to the to themselves, but we'll, let's try. Let's click on this. Yeah, he was not close enough to actually attack his friend. So this works if we're fighting like melee fighters because they'll all come to us and then we can use it to make them hit each other. But the way it's for us right now, it wasn't particularly helpful. Now we could get this filthy blood twice because you always gotta get the filthy blood twice. I mean, if you have it once, you're just like a regular beat up guy. I mean, you got hurt. Blood spilled on the floor, now it's filthy blood. But if you have two filthy bloods, everybody knows that means you're the crime lord in the area. So you gotta get them twice. Let's go fight. We have like multiple warriors we could fight. Yeah, these guys seem like they're gonna be mostly melee, hopefully. Yeah, well, actually, not not really. I mean, I guess I'll try to use this one. I'll be so hit to death. <laughs> okay, well. That's all good. We are the ones who fight melee, everything melee. <laughs> Would have been good ability against our people, but you know, whatever. Okay, more swift impens of souls. What else can you give me? Nothing particularly exciting. Okay, now we could get a third robot arm. So we're gonna transmute our robot arm. So we're gonna click the autofill. Include the equipped, and we have an 18% chance of getting a robot arm that's rare, which will give us not only the basic defense, which now is 6%, but it's going to be 12%, but also a spell increased spell power. Or we have 82% chance that we'll just get like excellent, which just gives us the basic defense. So let's do it. Okay, we just get the basic defense, but sorry. But the benefit obviously is that this doesn't take two of your slots, so we can utilize this in a bit better way. Because. Well, you can put more stuff on the person, obviously. I do wonder if we could get towards the boss fight before we run out of time. Alright, warriors and assassins, off we go. Let's go fight these boys. I think our ability is not particularly good. I'm gonna try to get a different ability, because actually now we should be able to use it. Okay, now he's shooting at his friend. So that was good. But you know, it's, it's not... I think we'll just focus on the protective force field instead. Seems like the majority of people are attacking our guy down here, the soul armor. So we might want to try to utilize our abilities to increase its defense the most. Need buff damage. Max health. Yeah, we could increase its max health. So, soul armor. You have to defense. Everything you have is defense though. So, actually, I'm going to put the mask cell instead of the spell defense. But other than that. I could alternatively, what I could do is I could give you this regeneration and it will increase the max health on this other person because that should help them out. Like the, having the healing is good. We need one more soul to upgrade into a second level. And we need, yeah, we should, we have 26 actually. That's interesting because typically it costs eight. Oh, it's because our level two guy costs 10. Okay, so we need one more level. And I have no money now. Okay, uh, let's just try my luck and let's just go. We could sell this, but it's kind of pointless. You can do this weird thing where you can like random exchange money, which just gives you a lot of money. So let's try that. Yeah, this just gave us more money. I'm, this is a bit strange, but okay. But what we can do, however, here is we can get more skills. So I'm gonna try to get like uh, debuff maybe on the enemy. This should allow me to activate. Chaos Vortex or Rebirth? Chaos Vortex is pretty good. It slows down the enemies. 
their movement and their attack speed. So I guess we'll grab that. Also have Rebirth. Increase the health recovery of all allies between 3.5 yards and regenerate 150 health per second. Okay, this is way better. This will do the Rebirth then. And do we want to buy something else? No, let's just go. Let's go fight the boss. So we got this Lizardman leader we have to fight. And we've got our ability of healing that you want to use up on our people. Alright, let's... Not yet. We've kind of... We've got time. Okay, let's use it now, maybe. Yeah, we're, we're regenerating a little bit. And the soul armor has it, its own regeneration, which is also quite helpful. We won this no stress. This was very, very well done. So normally, even in my test game, I didn't have anyone die. So I had an extra, extra chest here that give me additional bonuses. But now this is just like um, the normal bonuses, I guess. And we could buy some more Scarlet stuff and uh, precious robes. Which is good because later on we might be able to upgrade something to a higher level. Let's increase the crit chance, sure. All right. And now we could move to the next map. And here I'm gonna show you actually, I'm gonna show you the permanent bonus or like something modifier, I should say, that's on the map. So for example, we could increase the rarity of items we found, but increase the maximum health of all enemies. Or increase the rarity by even more and also increase our transmog success rate chance. But the maximum layer of bleeding caused by the enemy followers is increased by two. Or increase the amount of gold we found, but they have higher spell leech. I think I'll go with the rarity here. And let's do let's do one more fight here. We could reset this here with our mysterious sand if you wanted to. And got a lot of good stuff, but we don't need to use them un until we can upgrade them. So let's just go fight somebody. We'll fight these spirit shamans. Maybe are the gloomy enemies. I like this. Cyclops. No, 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 not Cyclops. Can't tell. Sorry. <laughs> I misspoke that. Ooh, they summoned. Did you see the little um, fiery guy there? They, they essentially can summon their own allies. So this is pretty cool. You can have an ability that allows you to summon new allies. Now we could get the Swift Impreza and Soul Armor upgrade, which is kind of awesome. And we could also get a new person. Could I get a warrior? No. So we'll just buy this Jimbo. But we could also get a new skill. For I could set up, for example, the House Vertex up here. And now I can up promote both of my people here as well. And then increase their uh, max health and their basic health and things like that. It's really, really powerful. Let's move to the next fight. I just want to show you how strong they will be once they're leveled up. So we could place the Chaos Vortex on our enemies now. Let's do this. Ooh, this person can teleport. Seems like a human assassin or something. That was really nice. The only our soul armor is weak. But otherwise we're doing pretty amazing. And we could get some new stuff if we wanted to, like this gloomy gargoyle. But that's not really working with our setup. We need a warrior. Or a guardian, but not... No, we don't need demons or humans. Okay, Guardian Savage. Okay, that would work. But I think I'd rather get someone who's bizarre or something like that. Or a couple more assassins. Either way, I think this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right to watch some other Autobattlers that we play on this channel. Like Kilta or the Dungeon Beneath. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.